Salute to It's another beautiful day in Abruzzo. Oh, it really is. It's April and today it's set to be 26 degrees, isn't yeah, it? It feels like it. <laughs> yeah, it really does. And we're here in Petorano sul Gizio, uh, which is in the L'Aquila province of Abruzzo and is one of the Borghi più belli d'Italia. And you can really see why it's stunning. It really is, yeah. absolutely stunning. And it's actually situated in um, a huge, um, important, uh, protected natural reserve, mm. the Monte Genzano Alto Dizio Nature Reserve. With lots of wildlife. Yeah, I mean, a uh, huge, diverse um, uh, species of, of mm. flora and fauna. Mm. Um, and if you're lucky, you get to see bears and wolves here as well. Yeah. Um, in fact, it's situated between the Grand Sasso National Park and the Maiella. And um, run, it's like a corridor and it runs along uh, the between the Dizio River, which is just down here. I don't know if you can hear it gushing. Anyway, yes, that's just run, <laughs> running along down there. And over there is Monte Genzana. So it rises up to just over 2,000 meters. It's an absolutely stunning village with lots to see and, uh, lot, and really nice people, lovely restaurants, lovely bars. Um, it's, uh, it's a gem. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely beautiful, stunning. One of its characteristics is its um, five um, original gates from the 11th century. There were six, um, five are still remaining. So um, we're going to try and spot them all. Yeah, and it has traditional cooking from here that is traditional just to this village. Yeah, there's a couple um, of dishes that we want to try. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we just want to have a wander around. I think we should get on with it and let's yeah, go. Yeah, but can I just say, first of all, please do subscribe. It's really important to us. Um, thank you um, for those who've already subscribed. Um, but if you haven't, it's really simple. And thank just... you to those who've bought us an aperitivo. Yes, buy me a coffee. Yeah. Um, those who have done that, who've bought us an aperitivo, thank you so much. We'll be enjoying one later. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's go. So we are in front of Castello Cantano. This is uh, 
who used to belong to the uh, noble Cantelmo family. So here we go, this is the entrance. It's a very big fortified castle inside a big fortified village. Well, it's a bit of a museum about the village, I'm guessing, yes, and its position. They've got a model here of, from the village of all the routes that you can walk with the, um, with the uh, mills oh, and then yeah. the trails carrying on up into the mountains. And that's the peak we can see. Monte Genzana. Yeah. Oh, and there is a staircase going up the tower. Yeah. There. Oh, well, that's good. We can go up the tower. Yeah, definitely. I'm going up this uh, ramp. Yes, I'm going part. up the ramp and the tower. We haven't got that long, just for your interest, because it closes at one yeah, for lunch. No, no, part. I'm telling people watching, oh, right not you. Off. What are they um, going to do? Well, I'm saying, fast, fast they'll forward. know. No, I'm saying if you come, just bear in mind, it shuts at one. Yeah. So don't come here at 12.30, no, because you'll have half an hour. Yeah, we don't have that, because we don't get out of bed in the mornings. So. No, exactly. <laughs> oh, look at that. Call the grande over there. Monte, oh, yeah. Look, Corner grande. Yeah. 2,912. And Monte Genzana. Monte here. Genzana. Uh, 2000, we just read, uh, I've forgotten. Two, uh, two, uh, 2000, 2000 and something. 100 and something. Yeah. And the, I don't know if you can see it, but that's Corno Grande, the highest mountain in central Italy, which uh, we've okay. climbed. I got a cat here up there on all fours. Just, <laughs> well, you ended up sort of crawling, didn't you, on all fours? Because she, she suffers with vertigo. Oh, yeah. I have to make sure I don't trip up on my tassels and then fall over the edge. Yeah, I can make a mess. Yeah. That would be very nice. But... Oh, wow. Oh, great. This oh, is a great... This, this is, is a spot for lunch. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my. Hang on. Hang on. I'm going to do a... Yeah. I'm going to stand in the middle and give you the view. Oh, is it working? Yeah. Did you have to put money in? No. Really? Can you see the corner grande? Yeah. Wow. Wow. There it is. All 2,912 metres of it. Amazing. So this, this lovely village is all on the crest of a hill. So if you look down there, in the distance down there, I don't know if you can see it, is Sulmona with the church steeple. Um, and up, you can't really see it, but around the corner is Pacentro in that gap going between those two hills. And then this village runs all the way across the top of a, they built it on the top of a hill here. And, and that carries on until it reaches this high point here where the road is. Go in here. Oh, look at the stairs. Oh, but you look at that, the fleur de lis oh. above. That's lovely. Oh, it is, isn't it? This staircase is one of my favourite types of staircase where they have the stone all interlocking. This mm. proper stone spiral staircase. Oh, I love it. I'm getting dizzy. Oh, Ooh. They they had um they had little feet, didn't they? Yeah. Back then, back in the day, they were little. It's too narrow. Still not quite at the top. There's a bit more. You can 
see the whole village for something. Really get the feel for its position from here, don't you? So we're sitting here um, in the main square, not the main square, what am I talking about? Probably the one of the most happening squares. The sun's squares. got to me. Yeah. <laughs> Probably one of the most happening squares. Yeah. Very pretty. Uh, yeah. Wonderful Piazza, setting. Piazza San Neri. Yeah. Um, I've just seen it's called, with a beautiful fountain, and gorgeous views um, across there. And, and we decided um, we, we're going to order some um, typical pecorano dishes. Two of the typical dishes yeah. that they do here. One each so we can taste each other. Yeah. Zolle, lo stelo dell'aglio, del fiore dell'aglio. Ah, yes, my favorite. Okay, and you want something more? Because I think one, it's fine. One is enough yes, to yes. share? Yes, yes. yes. Between okay. two, do it. If you take something... Yes. Yeah, then we're yes. going to have a premium. No, no, we're yes. going to have a yes. premium yes. as well. Yes. Yeah. Well, then we're going to have a... Here, it's traditional cooking. Yes. No, no, I know. I've seen, so I've seen. The, the I've seen. Heard. You have seen. That's why we're having it. Yes, it's good. And, and this I've seen, I um, read about. This okay. is very traditional. Yes. But yes. I don't know how to pronounce it. I would say... Mognele e... Mognele quezzerieie. Wow. Quezzerieie. Bravo. I'm having this one, yes. Mozzarella e quezzerie. Mognele e quezzerie. Mognele, non mozzarella. Mognele e quezzerie. Okay, that's for me. Okay, okay and, and uh, I'm going to have the polenta rognosa. 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 Rognosa, okay, rognosa. perfect. So drink? Um, Acqua frizzante. Okay. Uh, I'll have some... Uh, you want wine? Yes. Yeah, a glass or a bottle? What do you prefer? Uh, uh, just, <laughs> probably uh, have a whole bottle, but... Can you do a... It's no, too hot today. Mezzo litre of vino uh, bianco. Bianco, okay. Pecorino, abruzzese, it's okay? Si, sí, or uh, pecorino solo or uh, other casa of vino? Of the house, we have pecorino Pecorino, ah, pecorino is good. Okay. I like pecorino, si. Sí. Okay. Okay. okay, perfect, perfect. Okay. Okay. Got so uh, some foods arrived, which is very exciting.
exciting because this is anti pasty food and uh, this is this the olive uh, olive the um, garlic garlic oh, shoots thank you garlic shoots <laughs> uh, anyway this one we've never had because it's mixed with egg it smells delicious mm, it really it does looks amazing. just give Check you a out. close up of that That's a Brutso cooking at its best. Brutso's food at its best. Mm. I haven't had these in ages. No. Mm. Oh. That's mm. delicious. Really delicious. Mm. This is Claudia, and From Claudia uh, specializes in preparing or, or picking and preparing or uh, like binding. My father and I, like we, we, we plant them, we pick them, then we uh, we clean them because you have to clean them, ah. or we boil them, and then we, we, we bring them to um, a factory. Mm -hmm. We don't have our, our own factory yet because we're a newborn company uh, production, but um, uh, we, we bring them to the factory and they. Um, they make for us the cream, yeah. so we we wanted like the cream that you can use uh, with bread or uh, you, with pasta. Like we have. Does it only grow wild, or do you? No, we grow plant it. it. You plant it, right? We, That's we, what we I can plant it. As we wanted to do the production, we, we started planting uh, okay. it. Uh, and um, this is a uh, biological. Uh, ah, okay. Uh, organic. Growing. Organic. Organic. Mugnoli. Mugnoli. Yeah. Mugnoli. Mugnoli. It's quite a difficult one. Yeah. Mugnoli. Okay. Mugnoli. 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 And um, we believe that um, uh, it's not uh, it's not really original from here. Ah. But as um, in the past, they used to um, to do markets. And uh, Abruzzo is um, is very famous for transumanza. Uh, you know si. that? Yeah. 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 Si. Shepherds and everything. Mm. So they used to go all the way to Apulia, ah. which is the yeah. other region. Si. So because there are Mugnoli in Apulia as well. Ah, so, so they we brought them here. Yeah. Ah, and okay. a special thing about this um, this vegetable is that it uh, survives the winter. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the we plant them uh, at the end of summer, like yeah. uh, August, and then uh, we pick we start picking them at uh, from December to April. Wow. And it's still okay. Wow. Yeah, it's still okay. Even better because um, snow and uh, cold yeah. make them. Preserved. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Incredible. And look, there we oh, have a, a plate yeah. of. Um, yeah, and there it is. Mugnoli. <laughs> say it again. Mugnoli. <laughs> Did she say it right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Perfect. Uh, oh my gosh, amazing. Fantastic. Wow, I'm looking forward to tasting yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here, like that, there's a uh, a unique climate that allows this vegetable to grow. It is Separate. only um, cultivated um, in the lands just, just above, below. Yeah. just below, yeah. and, um, and uh, 600 meters uh, above sea level, maximum. Yeah. maximum. Yeah. I've got polenta with pecorino cheese and pecorino. pecorino. <laughs> And pecorino wine. In fact, I've got three pecorinos here. Three pecorinos. <laughs> wine, cheese. <laughs> three. Yeah. That's that's the confusing thing about the and Italian I, language I've, sometimes. I've got mugnoli and and I can't remember how to pronounce it. Cazzeria. No, it's a complicated it's a word. It's, it's in dialect. Okay. Mm. What does it mean? Uh, it's a gnocchi. Little, ah, little, little gnocchi. okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's there brilliant. You thank you for the information. Yeah, thank, and, uh, you. thank you very much mm. for your interest. Yeah, thank it's you lovely to meet you. you. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, buon appetito. Okay, grazie. grazie. <laughs> Bye. Ciao. Bye. Mm. What's yours like? Oh, it's just delicious. Can I see your face? Mm. It's not so close. <laughs> delicious. Mmm. And this um, vegetable dish is really, really good. yummy. Mm. Mm. This 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 was just one of the most delicious meals I've had. Not only was the meal delicious, which it absolutely was, the setting, yeah. the service, yeah. the atmosphere, everything about it.
just walk through the oldest part of um, Pretorana or Dizio um, through quite a lot of ruins, um, didn't we? All the way down to this, what they call the archaeological industrial park, where they have four mills, one copper mill, and three mills that they would have used to mill the corn for the polenta that they're famous for here. And probably for bread as well. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. So we'll have a little wander around here. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's gorgeous. Lovely little stream. Or river, I guess. The Dibzion. This is the water that's diverted from the mill. So yeah, so this goes into the mill. Well, we've just gone past this. So that... Um, charcoal. Charcoal, exactly. Back in the olden days, the townsmen were charcoal burners. Mm. And um, this is how they would have made their charcoal. Carbon. Carbona. Carbonaya. Mm. Inside here, this is one of the mills, they've still got the original mill stone and um, a very large room, very beautifully restored room. Uh, and there's, there's some of the machinery that would um, bash the grain and the um, corn, uh, corn uh, as the wheels go round and the hammers go up and down. Fantastic the machinery they had then without any engines. This was the engine. Yep. Obviously, it would have come down there, come past there, and driven that wheel and gone out there. Oh no, it would have come down there, sorry, and driven the wheel that way, sorry. I don't know, then there's a sluice there. The water would have come down there and driven the wheels that way. It's been lovely, isn't it? Very beautiful village. It, it really is well worth a visit, absolutely beautiful. I've enjoyed it. Um, Lots to see. There's a lot to see and we've only just shown you a little bit, a little bit of a wander around. Not everything is open at this time of year. Um, obviously it gets very busy in January during its um, polenta saga. Um, and then Ooh, when, when it gets polenta. a little bit more, I mean it is warm today, but uh, you know, when tourist season begins, I would imagine that there's a lot more open, a yeah. lot more um, things to look inside, um, which we haven't been able to do really today. But we've just enjoyed it, haven't we? And Very if we were to show you everything, you yeah, probably yeah. wouldn't come along. You'll have seen it all. So hopefully this entices you to add Petoran Sordizio to your, to, to your list of things, to places to visit. Um, and thank you to whoever bought us the Apera TV. Yes, um, thank you very, very nice much. You. So um, we have uh, an account with Buy Me A Coffee um, and it really does help us um, because we um, have to take the time out of our busy work schedules um, to Which bring these videos to you. It's not too hard to do. Eh? It's not a hardship really, we do enjoy it, but it does yeah. mean that um, we get behind with, with other stuff so actually having the support um, and having someone buy us an aperitivo um, is much appreciated so thank you to those who've done so um, and also thanks to those of you who've watched and also those who have subscribed if you haven't yet subscribed it really does help us um, it motivates us um, and yeah gives us huge motivation yeah so please do subscribe to our channel and um, and all I've got to say is we'll see you all again soon yeah and salute Thank you.